Hi, the scope of this video tutorial is to give a basic introduction to using Scrivener's compile feature. I am going to start with a simple Scrivener project with four documents in my draft folder. Each document has a title formatted as I want with some text underneath. What compile does is take any text documents contained within the draft folder or manuscript folder or whatever you decide to call it and turns them into one long document. That is the essence of compile. Compile happens to be an incredibly powerful and versatile feature though, allowing you to create that one long document in many different forms. But as this video is only meant as a basic introduction to compile, we're going to keep things simple. If I go to File Compile, you will notice Summary and All Options. Summary gives you the most common options you will need for the current compile format. Notice that if I change what format I'm compiling for, the summary options change. See how they alter when compiling to EPUB, Final Draft, and then back to print. Summary provides you with the most likely options you will need when compiling to a certain format, but these are not the only options. If you want more control over your document output, you can go to All Options. We will not be covering all options in this video, but it is obviously useful to know that detailed control over your document output is available. What we want to do here is compile our Scrivener project without altering the formatting we already have in our binder documents. Format As provides users with lots of presets when compiling. Selecting Original will use the original format that has been used in your binder text documents. It will not override or change your formatting for you. It will remain as is. Another summary option to look at is Compile. You will typically want to compile your whole draft, but this option gives you control over what subfolder or selected documents you may want to compile. We are simply going to compile our draft folder. Right, let's compile for print. We'll open our document as a PDF in preview. As you can see, what we've got here is exactly the same as the formatting in Scrivener's editor. All four documents have been put together into a single document with an empty line separating them. What if we want page breaks rather than empty lines in our compiled document? Although I said I wouldn't, let's go briefly into all options. If I look under separators, you'll notice that I have an option for text separators. I only have text documents in my binder, so I can simply change this from empty line to page break, and that should be the only change I need to make to get my desired result. If I compile again, you can now see that each of my four binder documents start on a new page. Let's take another small step in this introductory video and set selected text as title in the binder for each of our documents. As it stands, our compile settings will only compile text in our documents without including binder titles. This time around, we want to add our titles automatically. So, back into all options, and we'll go to formatting. We select the text document row. You can see that the icon matches our binder documents. Text is already selected here, but what we are going to do is also select title. That is all we need to do, but we can also change formatting in here. Let's only change the document titles to blue and compile. Rather than being part of the text, binder document titles are now being inserted into our compiled long document. I think that concludes our introduction to the compile feature in Scrivener. Thanks for watching.